We are in the 207 kitchen at Omain Studios with a special guest today. I'm joined by Ricky Sheldon, who Hello. is a second year student at the culinary program over at SMCC, Southern Maine Community College in South Portland. We're all thinking healthy as we've entered into the new year. You've got a really healthy dish for us that you're going to prepare. Absolutely. Tell me what we're going to make today. Uh, so today we're going to make a pan sear arctic char with um, wilted bitter greens, um, mushrooms, and winter citrus. Okay. Something really simple and light, kind of. I love it. Yeah. Simple, light, and easy. That's yeah, really, absolutely. That's it's the most important things. part. So you've got some fish. To, you are using Arctic char today. Why is that a special favorite of yours? It's my preference. Yeah. Um, you know, I work uh, in a restaurant, and that's what really what we use. Um, okay. You can use salmon just as easy. All right, um, let's get the fish going. But all right, so when you're cooking fish, um, you want to season both sides. It's very okay. important. All right. Um, and you're just going to cook it in a little bit of oil. Nothing yeah, fancy. just a little bit of oil. All right. Um, because, you know, oil is fat. There we go. Um, thank you very much. You're welcome. I'm here to help. Yeah, so just uh, right in. I like to kind of prep the pan a little bit and then lay it away from you so you don't splash yourself with oil. Um, and kind of just push down on it. Don't like, you know, hit it really hard, but you want to make sure the skin's really nice and flat on the pan. Now, while the fish is cooking, we're going to start cooking the mushrooms. Absolutely. Okay. Um, so I did just cook a piece of fish in uh, this pan right here. Um, we're going to turn it back on, hopefully. There we go. Uh, so a nice little handful of mushrooms. You don't okay. need too many. All right, and again, salt. That could be your preference as to what kind of mushrooms you use. Absolutely. Right. Uh, we're using button mushrooms here just because they're really easy to find at the store. Okay. Um, but you can use whatever mushroom you can find, I guess. Okay. Um, so you want to let these kind of just ride for a little bit. Um, the higher the heat, the better. Um, because button mushrooms have a lot of moisture and you kind of want to lock it in right away by searing them. Okay, and when you the mushrooms have cooked a little bit more, we're going to be adding some greens. Tell me what you're using today and what some alternatives might be. Um, so today we're using escarole and mustard greens, just two um, okay. kind of chicory varieties of bitter greens that you can find at the store, but right. any frisee, endive, okay. anything bitter, you can put it in the pan. All right. <laughs> Okay, and then we're going to assemble it all at the end. Yes. So why don't we add a little bit of our greens to get those started. There we go. And the greens, it looks like you're adding a ton when you do this, but they cook right down. Yeah, right? absolutely. Yeah. This will this will be half the size by the time we're done with it. Okay. And it's okay to make a mess. You know, you're going to be filling this. You're going to be <laughs> filling this pan with else greens. Is cleaning it up. Yeah, right? absolutely. Okay. <laughs> And those are on pretty high heat. Yeah, and yeah. And they're going to cook down pretty quickly. Now, should we maybe turn the fish? Yeah, absolutely. So we're going to look very nicely cooked. All right. Wow. So this also goes together kind of quickly. If you're absolutely. cooking for someone, having some guests over, you can do it all and impress them as well. Yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> that's important. Hopefully, that's the most important part. Okay. <laughs> All right, so let's. We're going to begin to assemble on our plate. Uh, yeah, um, these need just a one, a little bit more minute. Uh, All right. Yeah, we're going to put these uh, on our hot burner, kind okay. of finish them off. Right. Because that doesn't really need that much heat anymore. Um, Got you're just it. trying to kind of cook the fish to your liking. Okay. All right, there so just go. a little Ooh, bit longer. Wow. Excellent. Got a plate All here. Right, let's get these guys out of the way. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, so the greens go on first with the mushrooms. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, that looks nice. You can actually just turn that pan off okay, if you want. Sure. Thank you very much. Oh, that one too. How about that? <laughs> I knew I was here to help today. Thank you. Okay. All right. And as with all our recipes, we will have this recipe available on our website if you're interested in putting it together at home. And now the fish goes right on top, correct? Absolutely. I'm going to put that right there. I'm going to let you do that. I'm going to use this, actually, use this piece of fish because it's very nice. Okay. I like my salmon mid-rare, or arctic char in this case, um, but uh, you know, just cook it longer if you want it well done, right. basically. Um, Personal preference. Yeah, absolutely. And then a little bit of a garnish at the end. Yeah, so this is um, just navel orange and red grapefruit. Um, I think uh, the kind of sweetness and tartness of the grapefruit and uh, orange goes really well with the mushrooms, and okay. it cuts the bitterness of the greens a little bit. Okay. Um, and it's also pretty. Absolutely. It's all put together. And it's healthy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of people kind of associate winter, uh, summertime with citrus season, but winter is actually the best time to get yeah. your citrus. Yeah, that's very, very true. It's a nice way to get your citrus in your diet. Yes. There we go. Look at that. Excellent. Well done, young man. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks for joining us in the kitchen. My pleasure. We will be right back.